Take notes, parents. In this video, we're going to cover a few of the things that you guys do that make no f***ing sense at all. So I'll present to you a guy who is not a parent's guide to parenting. Motherfuckers better know. Stop comparing your kids to other people, right? It's dumb. All parents do this pretty much without fail, and it's annoying. You know your cousin always gets all A's. You know your cousin cleans his room without being asked. Oh my god, Grade, you cured cancer? But you know your cousin cured AIDS. Good for him! What are you, founder of his fan club? Since you seem to like him so much, why don't you go and adopt him? Huh? Parents need to stop doing that comparison, man. It's pointless. And not only is it annoying, right? But kids could do that comparison as well. You know your cousin cleans his room without being asked? Yeah? But you know his dad earns twice as much as both you guys combined? <laughs> Do you see which one hurts more? <laughs> You're supposed to have kids for the joy that is parenthood, not because you want something to show off. Listen, if your main concern was having something to show off, right? What'd you have a kid for? You could have bought a Porsche and a Rolex with all the money you spent on diapers alone, you idiot. Kids are not cheap. Listen, thinking of your kids as something to show off is, is just wrong, man. Do you know who else shows off their kids? Pageant mums. Oh, man. Don't be one of them, mate. And also, right, if you just weren't a smart kid, you should have done what Angelina Jolie did and adopted one of those Asian kids. Those Asians are smart as hell, man. Racist. My man left a tech in a nine. When you're telling your kids off, right, let them actually respond to you without getting mad straight away. Listen, like, your parents will be angry as f at you, right, and they'll ask you a question. Like, for example, right, you'll be on Wikipedia studying and your dad will storm in your room talking about GRADE! I told you an hour ago to do your biology homework and here you are on the internet the f do you think you're doing but as soon as you interrupt him to tell him that you are doing your homework you get this Th don't you dare talk back to me like that young man what you asked a question me there's only one reason why someone would ask a question right because you want a reply so listen so even though the question obviously warrants a reply right he just gets angry when I give him one. Let's just not reply, because that's what he clearly wants. Grade! I told you an hour ago to do your biology homework, and here you are on the internet. The f*** do you think you're doing? Well, I asked you a question, young man. Answer me. What the f***? Listen, get off your power trip and stop putting your kids in this stupid position. I'm ready to get this paper, G. You with me? Stop having favourites, right? Now listen, I know you will have a favourite, and that's fine, right? But don't make it so obvious. Alright uh, boys, who wants ice cream? Me mate, me! Uh, there you go! Th what the f- Please pay careful attention when your kid is teaching you how to use your new laptop. Teaching your parents how to use technology is the most frustrating thing ever. Even after teaching him over and over again, right? The amount of times that I've seen my dad go to Google and search for Google.com is mind-blowing. Let's just quickly talk about FUPA. I'm sure everyone already knows by now, right? But Ethan and Ela from H3H3 Productions are being sued by some random YouTuber for using clips of his video in days, right? And legal fees aren't cheap. But to help him out with his legal fees, the sexy, sexy Philip DeFranco set up a GoFundMe page to help Ethan cover his legal fees, and it was a huge success. Now listen, the money's well surpassed the amount needed, right? But what they're doing with the excess money now is they're putting it into a side bank account which will be used to help cover the legal fees of anyone on YouTube who's being sued in the future. So even though it's not needed right now, right, the excess money is still going to good use. Towards a fund which will help ensure that YouTube stays great. And also, so Ethan can keep making his videos, instead of being forced to pick up soap in the prison showers. This face would not last in prison, man. So listen, right, I'm going to be donating a thousand dollars to Fupa, which was obviously helped funded by Audible.com and me selling out to them, right? So if any of you guys want to donate as well to help the cause, that would be amazing. So listen, much love to Ethan, right? And again, huge thanks to the gorgeous, gorgeous Philip DeFranco for starting all this up. When your mom keeps telling you to read books, even though it's 2016. Mom! Not everyone has enough room in their garage for seven bookshelves, do they? Have you not heard of Audible.com? 
Mom, they've got over a quarter of a million audiobooks. That is a load of... Knowledge. Knowledge. They've got all these different types of books, and you want me to read this? Audiobooks are awesome to listen to, man. Like when you're stuck in traffic, when you're cleaning your room, or when you're waiting for your dad to find the K button. Audible.com reached out to me because they've got some free 30-day deal thing going on, right? Where you can try out their service for free. Now, for example, I've been listening to Elon Musk by Ashley Vance, right? And it was free! Free knowledge! So listen, get a free 30-day subscription to Audible at audible.com forward slash RAM. Links in the description, go check it out. Great! Are you selling out in here? What? Uh, no dad! You liar! Your cousin would never sell out like this. RAM! Why RAM grade? Because, and I'm not lying, right? Someone f***ed my link up and they used my real name. I 